Hello, I'm John here, bringing you episode 2 of my Call of Duty Ghost Weapon Guides. In today's video, we are looking at an assault rifle that I really enjoy and love to use in Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer, this being the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger is a fully automatic assault rifle, originating from the United States, manufactured by AAC or Advanced Armament Corporation. In real life, the Honey Badger or the AAC Honey Badger PDW is an AR-15 based assault rifle slash personal defense weapon. Manufactured by Advanced Armament Corporation, its rifle and caliber were developed in close cooperation with American Special Operation Units in hope to be a suitable and effective replacement for the Heckler & Koch MP5. The Honey Badger has a special round of its own, the 300 AAC Blackout Round, or simply 7.62x35mm NATO. In real life, the Honey Badger has two main features to it. First of all is its collapsible stock, making it useful for medium and close quarter engagements. Second is a detachable customized silencer. The Honey Badger has an integrated silencer built into it, although some models are built without it. That being said, let's move on to some in-game stats. The Honey Badger has a typical average magazine size being 30 rounds per magazine. If you equip the extended mags attachment, this boosts it up by 15 rounds, giving it a total of 45. The fire rate is a nice 800 rounds per minute, above average than the normal assault rifles. The reload time is quite good for the Honey Badger, being 2.63 seconds and 3.16 seconds when empty. The recoil tends to go upwards and slightly towards the left at times. Damage figures for the Honey Badger are quite good, considering its integrated silencer in-game. Up close damage is 42, meaning it's going to take 3 shots to the body and 2 shots to the head with the 1.4 times headshot multiplier. Over range, the damage is going to drop off significantly to 20 damage, meaning it's going to take 5 shots instead of 3 at range, and 4 shots to the head. As you can see from these figures, the Honey Badger is definitely meant for up close and medium range engagements. I would not recommend going for long range kills. If you spot an enemy at a distance, try and get up close to him by flanking around. If not, then leave him to be and look for another target. So, moving on to my recommended attachments when using the Honey Badger Assault Rifle. First up is the Foregrip. The foregrip is definitely essential, especially when you're going at medium range and even to medium at long range. Even though I wouldn't advise going to medium to long range, at medium range it's still crucial to have a foregrip. My second attachment I recommend is armor piercing. With the Honey Badger Hunt and Integrated Silencer, trying to kill enemies through objects isn't going to be easy. When armor piercing is equipped, it does not have that much of an effect against thick surfaces. However, if you're shooting through thin gates or through a thin wall, you'll definitely pick up some hit marks and hopefully end up with the kill. Third up is Extended Mags. Extended Mags can definitely help you out for extra ammunition. By doing this you can save 2 points in your perk slot, exchanging a scavenger or fully loaded for another perk that's more beneficial. My fourth and final recommended attachment has to be the Red Dot Sight. Even though the Iron Sights on the Honey Badger are quite clean and quite nice and easy to use, you'll find that some targets are quite difficult to reach. By equipping the Red Dot Sight, you'll get a clear peripheral view as well as a clear view on target. Although out of all the attachments I've just said, the foregrip is most beneficial. Moving on to some recommended perks when using the Honey Badger. Because of that integrated silencer, I tend to go on a stealthy roll. So first up, we're going to go with Off The Grid. Off The Grid hides us away from those enemy satcoms. Satcoms are quite easy to obtain, so by equipping the Off The Grid perk, you can flank around against the enemies, take them out, even while their satcoms up. Plus with that silencer being built in, it's perfect for a stealth class. Next up is Marathon. When playing team games and you flank around and kill one person, that person will tend to try and go back to find out where you are. So by equipping Marathon we can run off to our next location and take off more enemies, and so forth. You don't want to be staying in the same place for too long, as eventually the enemies will come and find you for a revenge kill. When playing team games you definitely want to be on the move, constantly. And plus with the footsteps in Call of Duty Ghost being quite loud, we want to quiet our footsteps while we're on the move. So equipping Dead Silence is the perfect option. It pairs it with Off The Grid as well, being in this stealth category, as you want the enemy to hear minimal sound of you. My fourth recommended perk would be Fully Loaded. Even though you can exchange Fully Loaded for the extended mags attachment, if you prefer to go with something like a red dot sight, then Fully Loaded can be a better option. Plus, if you're playing free for all or you want to go on a high kill streak without being noticed, Fully Loaded will definitely help you out. The other alternative is Scavenger, however I don't recommend using that. You want to be at a certain distance away from your enemies. By killing an enemy and walking up to their dead body to pick up a scav pack, you're exposed to the enemy's teammates. My fifth recommended perk is Focus. 
When going close quarters or head on with gunfights, you want to reduce as much flinch as you can. This perk goes in hand with the foregrip attachment. With minimum recoil and minimum flinch, it's the perfect setup for the honey badger. My next recommended perk is Amplify. With your footsteps being silent, with you equipped marathon and off the grid at the same time, you want to listen out for enemy footsteps. If you hear enemy footsteps nearby you, it will give you a second or two to take position, aiming down your sights ready to fire. My next recommended perk has to be ping. After you killed an enemy, a sonar ping is released, revealing any enemies nearby in that proximity. My eighth and final recommended perk to equip is wiretap. This perk definitely pairs up with off the grid. While the enemy's calling the satcoms and they don't know where you are, you can benefit from their satcoms to know where they are and take them out. By combining these perks with this weapon, you're going to be the ultimate stealth master. Moving on to a couple of recommended classes you might want to try out in Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer. This class setup is mainly built for those head-to-head -head gunfights you might encounter. By equipping the red dot on the foregrip, you'll get clear view on your targets. With having no secondary lethal or tactical, we can spend the rest of our points on our perks. Here I've equipped Marathon, Dead Silence, Wiretap, Focus and Fully Loaded. This allows you to run around the map, see where the enemies are from their satcoms, take them out with reduced flinch and reload having maximum ammunition. As for the strike package, you can go with whatever you feel like using. I tend to go with my average kill streaks, that being the satcom, the IMS and the Trinity Rocket. My second recommended class setup is mainly built for a stealth role. Equipping the foregrip and the extended mags, we're going to have reduced recoil, making sure that our bullets are landing on target. Extended Mag saves us from spending 2 points in our perk slots, by giving us 50% more ammo in each magazine. Once again, we're going with no secondary, lethal or tactical. Our perks are going to be Marathon, Dead Silence, Off the Grid, Amplify and Ping. Once again, with this class up, you can go on the move without the enemies knowing where you are on their radar, hear the enemy footsteps, take them out and see if there are any nearby enemies. Once again, your strike package can go whatever you feel like. I tend to go my average kill streaks, the SATCOM, the IMS and the Trinity Rocket. So overall the Honey Badger is definitely a weapon suited for a stealth parole. With that integrated silencer and great stats overall, this weapon is definitely for use. You don't want to be going too aggressive with this weapon, but you can certainly do fine by going on the enemy's flank. The only downside to this weapon is its damage at long range. By trying to land 5 shots onto your enemies at distance, you'll probably end up wasting an entire magazine anyway. Leave that foe and go for another one. So why not give my class setups a try in game, see how you do. I hope you did enjoy my Honey Badger weapon guide. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If not, that's fine. If you want to stick around and keep up to date with all my weapon guides, then consider subscribing. Or alternatively, you can follow me on Twitter at JohnXBooks or on Facebook at JXBGaming. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.